Hey, it's exciting, isn't it? It's exciting. Steady, you're getting a friend coming. Just wait. Wait. 35, it says. I think it's slightly lighter than that. No. <laughs> that's, that's not the average. 95, 6, 7. Good morning sheep fans, Cammy's the name, sheep's the game and we're back on the farming duties. The shearing is just about finished, you may see a couple of videos shearing lambs but you'll be glad to hear we're back onto the normal farming duties. Back with Lizzie. I've been on farming duties all summer. And you've done all the farming duties, <laughs> did you miss me? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> she did, she did. I've spent a bit of time away from home in Northumberland and up north of the country shearing but we're back now, we're settled. There is a month to go, well, three weeks. Mm -hmm. Three weeks to go till Lizzie has her child, my child, our child. So it's really exciting. It's, um, yeah, it's just crazy. It's, all, it's our first child. I just, uh, yeah, it's just really exciting for us. So we're still farming. Lizzie has been running like over a thousand head of sheep all summer. You know, that's including lambs, of course. All summer, that's sorting feet. Any fly strike problems? What else have you had? Bad bags to deal with? Mm, getting uh, out, sheep getting out. All the time. Sheep breaking out all the time, that's the other thing. Yeah, what else have we done? Somewhere, she organised some shearing as well. We got the wool board course and we show some hogs. She organised mm -hmm. all that. Yeah, just general farming duties in the summer. There's always something to do. And, and Lizzie's been doing it. We have lots of driving because our sheep are all over the place. There is a lot of driving. Yeah, Great. so. What are those? Someone said what they were the other day. Those? Mm. Don't know, but ask the YouTube. Oh, I knew what, that. What are these here, guys, on this hedge? Your mum did say, I think. I can't remember. Lizzie's asking me, but I don't know. They're like, get uh, the wee things of birds eat. <laughs> it's a bit of a big for a bird, isn't it? Nah, but the bird picks away at it, doesn't, doesn't it? So, what are we at today? Well, we are bringing in some lambs and we're going to weigh them, see if some are heavy and fleshy enough to go to the market, they'll go to a prime sale. This is Sunday, tomorrow's Monday. Monday's our prime sale day. So hopefully there's a few to go, Lizzie reckons there is. I agree. I've seen them, I agree, there is some here. So yeah, let's find out how many we get. What would you do? Okay, here's the team. You okay guys? Oh, Fern's out, Lizzie's shouting. Fern is of course our pup, our Are you, Lizzie's pup. Are you taking her? Yeah, we'll take her, eh? Hi, you can carry on, right? <laughs> It'll be good fun. Right, tired, is she you? already in the field? Oh, she's gone. And she's gone. Fern, hey, Fern! Yeah, they're all doing, they're all doing, Fern! Good dog, that'll do. Good dog, that'll do. Hey, that'll do, Fern. Good dog. That'll do, Fern. Good dog. There you go. See who the favourite is. Okay, so we are walking round this field. It's like a 30 odd acre field. Could have probably taken the pickup in. What's that? Keep her with me. That'll do, Fern. That'll do, Fern. Fern is probably going to be an absolute nightmare here, but hey, she's got to learn. This is a great way for young dogs to learn, I think. I'll need to ask him agree that one, but I'm pretty sure this is a good way for dogs to learn is working with older dogs and seeing what they're doing. Now, as I always say, something like this is okay when it's young lambs, they can run hard and yeah, they might pant a little bit, but they're not in any danger. Whereas maybe older ewes or pregnant ewes, of course, you'd never have a young dog like this in the field. That'll do fern. That'll do fern. Got to work in my English accent. That'll do fern. That'll do ferny. <laughs> That'll do Fern. Good dog. Good dog. Hey, good dog. You're alright. Good dog. Hey, you're panting already. Hey, it's exciting, isn't it? It's exciting. Oh, there's some there. Come by. And what's Fern doing? Is she coming by or straight through the middle? Oh, oh, kind of something like that. Now she doesn't know where to go. Lie down, Fern! Poor Meg lies down when I shout, lie down. Quite often what you'll find as well with a young dog like Fern 
if you let her run about a wee bit sillier at the start, as she's kind of being, she'll tire herself out a little bit and then she'll start listening better once she's had a little play and a little run around. Now I don't want to discourage her too much because it's nice that she's running around the sides there and she's kind of got her balance point at the back of them a bit. She's just wanting to push on by all the time but she's young and experienced. That'll come. Value firm. Value firm. As always guys, if you're new to the channel, please think about clicking that subscribe button. Join us on this farming journey that we are on. Lizzie and I, farming sheep in the west of Scotland, amongst other things from time to time, but mainly sheep. If it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But thanks for watching this one. A wee balance point there, at the rear of the sheep. Quite handy, really. Young lamb there, born in July. The one at the back. Great time to be born though. We Lie down. Firm. Early firm. Walk up. Meg to save the day here. Walk up. Here, here. Here, here. Early firm. Early firm. Early firm. Lie down. Lie down. Early firm. Lizzie will get her. There you go. She hears Lizzie's, she hears Lizzie's tone and she's getting a worry on. Oh, she's away down the road. Now before anyone panics, we have the traffic stopped, so don't worry about that. Oh, well, well done, well done, well done. You get a hold of now? You've got her. I'll catch up with the sheep. I might start a little uh, leave the quad bike at home campaign. Good for, good for physical and mental health, getting out and just doing a wee bit of exercise for sure. I think we miss some opportunities sometimes when we're farming to take the hard road and get the lungs going. And as always, there's mum waiting at the bottom of the road to turn them in for me. How are you boys? We went in there, we are, that's the point of traffic. Aye, that's us now, when you come. That's hey. just Lizzie. One across. Hey, get me. Why shrieking with these boots away? Mm, Cameron forgot to open the gate here on the line. We'll need to sneak by the sheep here. Oh, the little dogs lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Lie down. Take your time. Everybody take your time. Oh, another one through the fence. And another one. That's the bother. So these lambs here are essentially, I suppose they are essentially our bottom draw of lambs. The top draw at weaning time were taken to market. The next sort of 180 um, lambs were taken to some reseed and this is what we're left with. But there were some big ones in here that didn't get taken to the market because they were in a different lot and blah blah blah. So there should be some lambs ready to go now. Most of these though will be getting shown at some point because they're going to be longer keep lambs. I'm going to be keeping these till January, February. A lot of these lambs here. Yeah. Right. <laughs> okay, so we have the sheep in. We have the scales in position. T-shirts available on the merch store, of course. Oh, I should. Oh, oh. <laughs> Lizzie says don't buy anything because she's sick of sending things out. No, I'm no, 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 I'm only joking. She loves it. Is that right word? Yes. Loves it. No, we appreciate all the support, we really do. It's been absolutely amazing. So, these scales, we have them sat in. We're just having a wee look. Test them out. 
We have a 25 kilo bag of feed in there, but who's to say it's 25 kilos? Or is it 22.5? Net weight, 25 kilos. Right. Zia, how are you, are Regan? All right, Regan, come on in. You getting in? Yeah. yeah. Watch your face. There you go, stand in the middle. I'll shut the gate. Right. Oh, wow. wow you you are 17 kilos. Good effort. Give us a thumbs up there. There's the thumbnail. Draw. Mm. So I'm just going to weigh the first lamb that runs up just to give me a gauge of the kind of weight so I can get my eye in and see what's worth weighing and what's worth just letting run. We are going to doze them, but we'll just go through them all first and doze what's not drawn out. Lizzie, is that the best way? Yeah. There's no point in trying to guess, I think. Let's no. do that. Oh. So, let me show you guys. There's the first lamb in. Just this... 35, it says. I think it's slightly lighter than that. Couple keys. Closer to the 32 mark, I think. So, there's an example. Let the lamb run. Come on, lamb it. Well, then you're going to put fat lambs Just a the small left. lamb. And other lambs go out this gate here. Nice. Because Lizzie broke the wooden gate that we had. Steady, you're getting a friend coming. Just wait. 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 So we have our first lamb here. Now, it's not all a case of them being the weight. So this lamb's sitting at, realistically, it's gonna be closer to 42 kilos there, maybe 41. And you want to have a look at lamb as well. Make sure it's not lean. That's a nice fleshy lamb. Not over fat, but then the bit they're running on, they're never going to be. But that's a nice fleshy lamb. That'll do fine at the market. That's our first one. I'm hoping we can get about 20 here. So we'll rattle on, see what we get. We'll see you at the end. And just like that, we have our pen of lambs. Now there's one to come out of here, that one right there, because it's limping slightly of a foot. So we'll treat that and pull it out. Lie down. Pen, pen, lie down, lie down. Here's the, the lame one right at the front, as is always the case. I'll just pass this to Lizzie and I'll grab a hold of this. In the, in the race because I don't want to get them too dirty. Put fear of fly strike, etc. Just scald. Just scald. Nothing major, just a bit of scad. Scald, however you like to pronounce it. Really simple to treat this. Bit of blue spray. Fixes everything, blue spray. I think the rest are okay. Just always check when you've got the sheep up. Now, run through the foot bath would do the same job. We'd treat that. The rest of the lambs are going to go through the foot bath. I said I was going to draw that lamb out. It's so minor. I'm going to put her back in. He, him, put him back in. Or none bite, just however he identifies himself. And see what he's like in the morning. Because that stuff's pretty effective. It's a very minor bacterial thing. So, I think he might be walking okay in the morning. But we're going to see. Not sure how many there's yet. Just about to count them. But I'll tell you when we get to Lanark, which is going to be tomorrow morning. So let's jump to that. Good morning, sheep fans. Cammy's the name. Sheep's the game. It's been day here at the house. And yes, I need to get my hedge cut. But first, we're off to Lanark Market. So I've just arrived at the livestock market and I need to do the paperwork just now. Give me a second.
<laughs> Who noticed the Shetlands running off the trailer? This is a handful of cash dues and that Cheviot weather that I brought with me to fill up the load. Another great thing is the fact that Covid restrictions have ended so I can now actually go in and see my lambs being sold which and being drawn which is just like fantastic like it's just great to see things getting back to normality we'll hopefully get a bit of crack with a few people we know in here that's the great thing about the market, it's such a big social hub like a lot of people forget that and especially for like older farmers that may be a bit more isolated coming to the market with their lambs it's like the absolute highlight of the week not just for the financial side how are you getting on alright? But, but, but for the social side I was just saying it's great getting back in the markets for the social side of things oh, yeah. get, getting a bit of crack again they kind of carry on the way with them. exactly, no it's great so let's go and see these lambs getting drawn I do intend to do a full detailed video about how to bring your lambs to market just for anyone who's either never done it before and is starting getting into sheep or just for those of you that are really interested in the process but to simplify things for this one the first step is you hand your paperwork to the market staff they count your lambs to confirm the number you then walk around with your lambs to the drawing pens oh listen I know that's only a third of the day I know that's only a third of the morning <laughs> Does he need to go for it? Oh, is, is that a triple decker there, is it? Yes. Yeah, son boy. Right. Life's for lambs. Scottish farming. <laughs> <laughs> the term drawing lambs essentially means that Gregor and Di here will look at the lambs as they run up the race and separate them into appropriate groups so that lambs such as these four random lambs are grouped together and they're not sold in with a nice batch of Tepso lambs. Drawing your lambs like this means that the buyers get a nice even pen, which in turn should maximise the price that the seller gets for their lambs. Good, good task, an expert, advice. Uh, yeah. What were the What was the big batch of lambs like? Good, good. 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 Ah, right, good. Yeah. I know that Andy's brutally honest, so that's fine. <laughs> what about those guns? <laughs> <laughs> no pride in business, boy. That's it. Some man. And the weights for the lambs, as per the market scales, obviously we were kind of drawing everything from 42 kilos of titanium for and up, but you saw those scales that I used. I had a wee bit of discrepancy. I won't say they're fully calibrated. You have to think about other things when you think about the weight of your lambs. You have to think about the fact that we brought those lambs in in the afternoon when they've been eating grass all day, full bellies, and weighed them. And I'm bringing them to the market this morning very early where they'll have no grazing. They'll have been sitting all night, no grazing, straight in. Straight away, there's going to be a kilo of difference at least for that. So the weights for the batch of lambs was. 3 at 44 kilos, the 39 at 41 kilos. So my average is 43 kilos for those 43 lambs. No. <laughs> that's, that's not the average. <laughs> that's not the average. 43 is the total. Uh, how could the average be 43 if the most of them are 41? Oh, Cammy. So, I don't know what the average is, but most of them are 41 kilos. Just at that kind of, that's a good weight, that's an alright weight. I like 42, but the buyers like them about that weight. We should still, if the trade is like last week, we should still be hitting £100 or thereabouts. Now, I'm honestly probably not going to stick around to see them sold, because there's going to be 3,000 lambs in today, as able as these boys are. It's going to take a while to get through them all. So what I'm going to do is head home, might catch it in the live stream if I'm clever enough, probably won't. Game now, 4 at 41 GR, 95 bid, 95, 
96, 7, 8, 98, 98, part of the reading, the reading, the 98, Todd Jones, 1, 35 more here, right pedal arms, 35 to 41 to ask, stand on, 92, 3, 4, 5, 95 on bed to 41 to ask, 95 to 5, 5, 5, 5, 95 pounds, Sean, 4, hey, uh, let's take it. Ah, well, help Jackie, never get by you, you got to give us something. 152 is the other thing now. 100 away, 100 pound away, 100 away, 100 away, 100 away, 3, 103, 104, 5, 6, 107, 108, 108, 108 RL7. 344 kilos the other thing now. 95 bay, 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 5 95 pounds. 44 kilos, 95 pounds, yes, Sheena. 5 Willie. Now, great here this time. So I forgot to film an ending for this vlog, sheep fans. So let me just sum it up with another little voiceover to say I was very happy with £95.50 for an average across my 43 lambs that day. That is certainly more than I would have got this time last year. And that sort of price for my lambs will allow someone like myself, who rents all of my ground, to make a little bit of profit, although I'll probably just spend it buying more sheep. That's just farming. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog, sheep fans. We'll see you for the next one.